Hey guys, I am back in my second part of how to make a shuffle. If you did not see um, the first part, I highly recommend to um, view that because otherwise you don't actually know what I'm actually doing. Um, well, let's get started right away because maybe I don't have time. Uh, well, it will be kind of stupid or something. Well, let's make this. I saw it was not great. Well, uh, it doesn't actually matter because it's just an example. So, I have here my code. Um, I left off with the shuffle timer code. So, it's just checking if it's zero or uh, not. Um, also, uh, or wait, now I'm going to type in positive minus equals to, well, it's kind of um, sounding pretty stupid. So positive minus equals value of 1 and then negative well it's kinda of stupid actually you can change the names or something I could not find a proper name so it's actually negative plus plus equals value of 1 it's pretty important to put in value of 1 because the computer well let's I'll show you the example yeah, I'm not bad. Um, so uh, a computer uh, like when I have something a number let's say 50 and I type in uh, and I type in uh, plus equals 1 it's going to output this see it just added the number 1 just right behind it but if you do a, a value of 1 it will change it into 51 so uh, just a quick lesson over computers or something uh, but, <laughs> but okay um, it doesn't matter uh, if you did not know that or something because you all know it right now it's actually pretty um, important when you're working with values to use um, this I actually don't know if it's uh, uh, doing that uh, with integers uh, but I highly recommend to do just this to be sure that it's going to be adding a value and not putting a number just right behind it so um, well let's go back to the code um, so after this it's done it's actually just saying that uh, positive and negative plus equals and minus equals the value of one it doesn't do anything else um, so what you want to do is type in sync pn and it will call the sub sync pn and what this one does it will associate uh, the volume of Windows Player 1 and 2 uh, to positive and negative so now it will be working all along so I'm going back to my button 1 underscore click because I have to admit I forgot something and I'm going to type uh, I'm just going to show you what I forgot so I'm going, going to type in when player 2 dot um, dot URL equals to um, lb play playlist two dot items dot item and then uh, lb playlist two dot selected index. Uh, well, it's recovering, uh, saving soon. Sorry for the lag. <laughs> so also this is very important. When player two dot Vol uh, settings dot volume equals to zero. Oh, well, it's not so so super important, but I highly recommend to do that. Um, also, you can do Windows uh, Player One dot CTL controls and then play. So it's going to be playing, and um, after that, it's going to be. Uh, shuffling as you can say so I'm just going to test it I hope it will work but okay uh, we uh, well I have enough time to uh, fix the error if it's going to be one um, so add file it's not the best one um, also you can remove that in one of my videos I showed that so I'm going to select double click on this one you have to select this otherwise it won't work I don't know if you can hear that Maybe softly, it's from Command and Conquer 3. I'm sorry, and I'm going to shuffle. Uh, I. Whoa.
well I don't actually to be honest I don't hear some some difference oh man um I forgotten well when I made this code actually I was writing the code I even forgot this too so I thought well when I make a video about this I really have to um, make sure I don't forget this but probably uh, well actually not probably but uh, so I actually forgot it again and that's calling shuffle uh, the timer uh, to start so dot enabled equals true um, so this, <laughs> this is actually a pretty stupid uh, mistake or something but okay um, well let's do something um, Ah well, just let's do King's Wrath music. Yeah, and this one. So, I'll double click, select, and let's wait a second or something. It doesn't matter. Shuffle, it's loading. See, now it's fading, it's fading, it's fading, and now it's this one playing instead of this one. Um. Uh. Well, you get this a message. And uh, that's something did not probably did something or something. I don't know actually what it's saying, but you can uh, fix that by going to the form uh, events and then go to form closing, not closed but form closing. So there is a difference. So on closing, type in win player one dot stop. Um, I mean CTL controls dot stop and then. When player two dot ctl controls dot stop. So as it, if, it's, if I'm going to be right, it's not going to show me any kind of errors. So change that, change that. Ah damn it! Now it's going to give me an error. You see, because I did not actually uh, selected something. So you gotta have to make your own code um, for that one. So there is nothing selected. Uh, something else will happen um, so well, double click this one select this one um so yeah now now I can hear it fading and now this is different music um, so well this one is going to be uh, going just uh, along with the other one you can also stop that it's not in need of something but okay um, so yeah this is basically it um, you can make it more advanced so it will like uh, like now it's going to be uh, like these are going to be constant values or something because they're always going to be 100 and 0 you can also do uh, uh, like this when you player 2 or 1 well, let's see, uh, one, and then dot uh, settings dot volume, like that. So, uh, well, I'm not going to show you any more code. I think you have to do that yourself, um, because I don't have much time left, um, and because there are a lot of uh, the everything can cause actually an error or something. Um, but uh, I think you can figure it out um, so thanks for watching this video uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me my email address is at the video of the the description of the video I mean it's going to be pretty stupid actually when you have a video on a description instead of a description on a video uh, but okay so thanks for watching again uh, if you have some money by the way um, you can uh, maybe you can donate something to me via PayPal uh, to my e email address also in the description as I just told you so yeah thanks for watching again and I'll catch you later